welcome to my vlog or welcome back if you have been here before. Today I am going to use these colors to make two tops. It's for two orders from two colleagues of mine. Um, one is a granny square tops, top and the other is a striped top. Besides that I'm also going to make a bikini top using this color more or less but with another yarn. That's a Melissa yarn and this is Safran so from Drops. So this is what I'm going to use for two of the tops. I guess there will be other things that I'm, I make on the way, uh, but the main part will be making these tops. So let's see how this will go, if I can finish them. And um, yeah, let's go, let's start. I have started on the top, on the granny square top. These are the seven first squares. A lot of ends to weave in. <laughs> So I think that I should weave in the ends of these seven first squares before I continue making more. I'm not sure how many I have to make. I think I'm not halfway. Maybe I'm one quarter, more or less. But I don't think so. I think I need more, like 40. Well, we'll see. Now I am making a bikini top, following or doing, I'm not following the tutorial because I more or less know now how to do it, but it is uh, Passionate Kelsey's Lily Top that I am making. I love that one. It's really good. I'll put a link down in the description so that you can find that if you want to know how to make this. Uh, this top I'm not quite finished though there will be straps from here and they will be connected here in the back in these holes so it's very very good it's you can regulate them so if you're very skinny you can tie them a lot and if you're a bit bigger you don't have to tie them a lot so it will be uh, good for more sizes than one just the cup size is the, um, important that it's for your, uh, yeah, just the, the cup sizes is important that they fit, of course, and then the straps will regulate, so it can be, it can be, it, it can fit more body types. So I like this a lot. I started this yesterday, I think, in the night. Yeah, I did. I made it the cups and now today I have them connected the two cups and I will soon be ending this to, well, I'll be making these holes here as well and then I will uh, do the straps. Just, do, just doing single crochets, almost the whole bikini top. Now I'm on the holes. So it's a double crochet with one in between and I skip a stitch. And I try to tighten them a bit so they will get quite even. There you go. And now I will make a single crochet all the way around. And up here and along here and up here on the cup and from here I will do the straps. Well, uh, Passionate Kelsey, she's, she changed, chains 180 like these. I have a thinner yarn and a thinner needle. I have a three millimeter hook. I think she uses a five. So I don't normally then do 200 or 210 um, chains, chain stitches to get the, the correct size 
and um, now I've done the most part of the strap, one of the first strap. I'm just doing single crochets all the way down in every stitch. And here I will make it a bit stronger by connecting with both. Yeah. Yeah, and then when I've connected them again, then I'll be going around here up to the next one and make a new strap. And there. Yeah. There it is. There you go. This is then the back. Well, let's see. Like this. Did I do it wrong? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did it wrong. Well, it's been some days and uh, I have now completed a lot of these squares for the top that I'm making for a colleague of mine. And then, actually, I have... I have combined them to this. So the front panel and the back panel is done, but I will have to have at least two lines of granny squares on the sides, on both sides. So that is what I'm making now. I'm making these and uh, while there is here four by four, I will have three by two. Because this one, if I just have this for the arm sleeve, for the armpit, it's too small short so I have to have until here and then we will measure if I have to do some beige in between or here and here and then have the two rows in between or if it's a good size just having the two uh, the two lines so now I have one two three four five six seven of these and I need 12 so and I uh, am out five I have to make five more but I have to put this aside for some days because I need to finish or I need to repair this one I made this for my friend this uh, uh, Christmas I don't know if you remember if you well if you saw this before maybe you remember I uh, made this one and it is prolonged already, but she wants it like seven centimeters longer. So I have to take this up here and um, make it longer. I'm kind of dreading doing this. I've been kind of acting like, sure, no problem, more or less. But now that I, I'm actually going to do it, I'm a bit kind of terrified because I don't really know if it will work, if it will be if it will be nice and where I I think I just have to cut it up or something Ooh, I'm dreading this because she's also a perf perfectionist or she is a knitter perfect perfectionist knitter and she knows how to crochet as well but it is what it is it will be what it will be so we'll see now Whew, how can I do this Shall, shall I just cut it up? I don't remember. I think I... Yeah, I... Oh. Oof. I have a big job in front of me. Well, um, as you can see, I'm sitting on the terrace. Even though it's not sunny today, there it is... Uh, 18 20 degrees so the temperature is really really good excellent for working outside but i have to concentrate well let's go so she's uh, coming tomorrow visiting me today is thursday tomorrow is friday and she leaves on sunday so i have to do this before sunday I don't know what to do. I'm so 
Wow. What can I do? Help me, please. Help me. I need somebody. Anybody. Wow. The sun came out. Maybe that will help for, with an ID or two. I don't think so, though, but... The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Just thinking about this sweater. I don't know how I shall make it better. On the end. <laughs> now I just cut it. I just said one, two, three, let's go. So I have cut it and I, I am unwinding it here. Maybe it will work. Of course, it's not like a knitted sweater where everybody, everything falls apart. So I think it will be better than that. So for now, I'm good. Maybe it will work. Maybe I didn't have to, to feel so scared after all now i'm here and what will i do here mm. well i'll leave it there and then i will cut this one on the other side <laughs> here it's a bit sticky it was the same on the other side I guess it will come loose in the end. There we go. Off we go, off we go, off we go, go, go. <sighs> oh, that's the end. And I, well, maybe I should just be, keep it because here's where I'm going to do it. Yeah, now I think I have it, but my brown yarn is not here. Well, I'll do this first. Prepare this. Let's see now. I will now have to do... I need a knot first. Maybe I'll just have to cut it and start again here. Don't know what I'm doing. I'm <laughs> just winging it. Winging it. Let's see. If this works, I'm going to be so relieved. <laughs> but I guess she will see my flaws, but I don't care. Now I really don't care because this is just what I have to do. Uh, 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 I did this. Hmm. One more time. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll start. One, two. Yeah, that's okay. Double crochet, double crochet. That's kind of like three, yeah. One stitch. Mm, well, I'll just continue. I'll meet you in the end or somewhere. <laughs> I thought that I had to start with a brown, but actually I had to start with a beige. So now I'm just going to, I have to change it, so now I'm just going to um, go back and forth with the beige for three rounds and then the brown and the beige and the brown in the, in the end until I have more or less seven centimeters and then I'll do the edges and I'll be done <laughs> and it w won't take as long as I thought 15 minutes ago. <laughs> When I thought I would never ever be able to do this. Oh my goodness. I, I thought I was lost. I thought it was a lost course actually. But now I am optimistic again. I just had to cut it and then I got optimistic. Well, that's kind of uh, weird. Well, well. Now I am now I'm almost done with one side. Ten more rows and I will end it with 
um, just doing a double crochet in every stitch on the end. But let me show you now first. This is the part that I've done extra. So seven, eight centimeters, something like that. And then there will just be some a border here like the border that I have here. I don't know if you can see it. But this border will be continuing here. I will do it first and then on this side and on the other side. Well, from the other side until here. And then I will, of course, uh, crochet them together here on both sides. But at first, of course, I have to do the other side. So this is done and now it's this side. Yeah. It's got kind of chilly outside, so I went in to finish the sweater. Now I am at the bottom with a kind of with a border. That's what I'm doing now. And I just have this part left until here and then down here. And then I will have to uh crochet here and this is looking a mess so i'm not sure how i can fix this but i'll try i think that i shall leave this part the crocheting part for my friend because she's a, such an expert she will do this much more beautiful than i so it's better than sh that she does it instead of instead of me doing it now and tomorrow she'll tell me that, no, this is not good enough. And she will uh, fix it. So I guess I'll leave it for now and see if she will do it herself. Because that's the only part that's left to crochet these two together and on the other side. My goal for this video was actually to finish three tops. This one that I just showed you. Uh, for one colleague and also a bikini top for the same colleague that one I finished and I already gave it to her and to make another top much more easy than this with stripes for another colleague I haven't even started that one because this is taking up so much time I started I think Saturday or Friday last Friday and now it's Thursday and I have just, this is the only thing I've been doing since last Friday or so. Um, so making these granny squares. So this takes such, such a long time. So um, I will not be finishing these tops, this and the other one in this video. But I showed you that this is finished. Just... Um, missing a little part on the sides and then the next video i will be showing you this finished and i will be making the other top and finishing that one now it's time that i edit this video and put it on on youtube because it's been a week or six days and i want to keep on this um seven days more or less time time frame <laughs> so uh, i guess this will be the end for now so thank you for following for watching and uh, subscribe if you like this video make a comment under if you you like and uh, i'll see you next time bye bye